Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Virgo. Hey Virgo, I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a quick look and see what's going on with your individual energy. Let's get right into it Virgo. Virgo, we have the world upright for you. I feel like with this card, you guys are hoping to aim for something. There's this hope that you have, there's this dream that you have. Right. I feel like you guys are aiming for something or at least you were right, because I, I'm not sure if this is a past, but this does tell a story to me that there's something that you're aiming for. I feel like with some of you guys, it's important for you to decide what it is you want in your life. I feel like there's a decision that needs to be made here. I feel like the decision needs to be made because you are trying to figure out what is going to make me totally happy with the world card. I'm showing that you guys have completed something right. So that tells me some of you guys, um, this could be a big accomplishment for you, right? It could be anything from finishing high school to, um, I don't know, I graduated from college. I, I don't know, I, whatever, with my business. My business made a landmark or something like that. It could be something like that, right? Where you guys are trying to figure out, is this thing that I've achieved already going to bring me complete happiness? I do see the magician here is reversed. Now, this talks about you guys being... Uh, a little bit out of touch with reality. I don't necessarily agree with that. I'm telling you what the book says. I, I believe that when you're not in touch with uh, society that stands right around you, I feel like you're better off, but whatever. But anyway, the cards are saying here that you guys are in, I don't know, some kind of thing where you're out of touch with reality. All right. You guys could be having these dreams that I'm going to go do this and I'm going to do that because remember, you made a landmark somewhere. So this could be you know, you know how you, you reach a landmark and you're like, oh, yeah, I can do anything. But you can't do anything without the work, right? So I feel like you guys are coming to this conclusion that I want to be free. I want to choose the path that brings me to complete happiness, whatever complete happiness is for you, right? Um, when I think of something like that, for some of you guys, it could be, listen, I want way more love than I want money. I'm not worried about that. I got all the money in the world. I want love. You know, they always say you wish for what you can't have. But it feels like you guys are kind of content. But I also feel like there are these other things that you guys want to do. And I see that with the Magician card. So for some of you guys, you live in a la-la land because you're like, I don't need anything else. I have everything I need. Now, if this card were upright, the Magician, it would tell us you have everything you need to achieve what this is. You're looking for freedom. It looks like some escape, some freedom, some freedom to do whatever you want and choose whatever path you want without people bothering you. And when you get into a certain position, I guess you can kind of do that, right? So I do see that you guys are not 100% prepared to do something that you are going to down the line it feels like want to do. I don't know what that's about for you guys, but the cards are telling me that maybe uh, even though you're settled, even though there's a landmark, there's all these other things that are components to your success, right? So yeah, you definitely did something great here, but there's much more to do. There's much more to achieve. So we don't want you to forget about that. Don't become stagnant is what the cards are saying, all right? Now... The cards are also telling you that you could be convincing yourself here with the Knight of Cups. I'm convincing myself that whatever this is that I'm doing, this is the pinnacle, this is it. I don't need any more, and that's not necessarily true. Because you start to question yourself. You're like, yeah, I did that, but I don't know if somebody got in your ear and they're like, listen, do you know all else that you could be doing? Do you know what else you are capable of? You're like, oh, I don't feel like doing all that. I'm good where I am. That's what I get. I get my good where I am. I don't feel like excelling. Because it's like you're, you're satisfied, you're happy. So you're not necessarily, all you know is that, listen, I don't have to worry. I don't have to worry no more about doing this or that because I can do it now. See, but what the cards are telling you is that you are not going to stay comfortable in this really, you're in a successful place, I want to be very clear. But you are going to, uh, there's more that you want to achieve. So you guys can't take, don't, don't forget that. All right, keep your eye on the prize is what I'm getting here. Now, for some of you guys... You guys could be dealing with somebody here. We're going to take a look at this Knight of Cups energy here. Now, I kind of feel like this is your energy. I feel like there's a need for you guys to get out of your comfort zone. The cards do suggest that this could be somebody else's energy, but I do feel like it's your energy, at least the first part of it, about getting out of your own comfort zone, right, so that you guys can make this, this achievement. Because I don't know if you even see this yet. I don't even know if you dream this up, thought it up yet, but you are not going to be 100% satisfied even though you're successful. So you're going to want to expand, accelerate something, accelerate, move forward with something. Yeah, something needs to move because you guys are, I don't know. It just says that you feel like you got everything you need. The cards are telling you you don't. The cards are telling you there are opportunities that you could miss 
by not acting on certain things or taking advantage of certain things or something like that. Now, for some of you guys, you could you guys could be dealing with somebody here who, um, I don't know what's wrong with this person. It feels like this person could be somewhat of a mystery. Now, this could be you. I feel like for some of you guys, again, this Knight of Cups, it feels like it's you because this person has this element of mystery to them. Nobody knows what this person is doing, right? And I kind of feel like that's your energy. I feel like you're trying to um, enjoy the excitement of some success or some landmark or something like that. But I, but I also see where you guys are like, yeah, but wait a minute, but I want to have the first Barbie doll too. Whoever's doing this and wherever, whatever, they don't have a Barbie doll. So I could be, you know, like you could be the first. There's all these things that you could do with whatever this is. This could be your education. Um, it could be your job. It could be your business. You might have the opportunity to work on a project where you get to build something. All right. Give birth to something. It could be a portal. It could be anything to make things run smoother. Whatever that, whatever that is to you. All right. But I do feel like some of you guys overall with this, this thing, you guys are going back to the drawing board. And I think you're starting to realize there's more that needs to be done. There's more I can do. Now, I also see here, right, that with you guys, there's something here going on with something that you've achieved already and you still question, just like I said before, you're questioning all of the possibilities. Like, what can I do with this? What can I do with that? I feel like there are going to be some delays here because I feel like there was a ton of hard work. So I don't know that there's any um, sense of urgency, if you will, in terms of you jumping back into your next, I don't know, enterprise or next project maybe you want to take a couple of months off and just be a regular guy at work and not be like the project manager or whatever this is whatever this is all right so i do feel like there's some decisions that need to be made guys all right and i feel like you guys are still questioning what do i want to do so i think subconsciously you guys know that there's something going on here with your business i feel like this could be a business or something to be honest with you guys i feel like you did something and i feel like there's much more to be done let's take a look and see what's going on in love because listen guys i did pick up a person all right, this person that you're dealing with could be the one who's out of touch with reality. This could be uh, water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They could be out of touch with reality. Uh, you might think <laughs> to some of them, uh, I don't know if I want to deal with this. All right, so I just think these are your thoughts on a person. But overall, if I had to take this card and apply it to your situation, I'm going to say that you guys, um, you guys definitely have some mystery about you there's something that you're hiding i feel like a lot of this is internalized for you i don't feel like you guys talk to a lot of people about this whatever this situation is with you expanding something uh but the seven of coins talks about you guys having some opportunities for more achievement yeah i still question what it is i want to achieve i feel like you guys are trying to figure that part out so that might be why we see the waiting we see the success but we also see the waiting and i think the waiting is because how can i expand my success okay tell me about virgo and love please Tell me about Virgo and Love. I'm just trying to keep the screen from. Ooh, okay. Heart to heart conversations honestly discuss feelings with each other. This could be in reference to the person that has come up here. Could be. Let's see what else we have here. Wedding. Some of you guys could be deciding whether or not you want to stay in a marriage, get out of a marriage. Uh, it could be something with the weddings. Maybe you guys don't, maybe the weddings are delayed. We do see delays here. All right, but we also see here that somebody might need to go back to the drawing board. So some conversations need to be had. It looks like in the area of love, there's a separation here I'm showing. That could be, because look at it, it falls right under the Knight of Cups. That's interesting. Tell me more separated from somebody you guys probably thought you were going to marry or something like that somebody you were married to there's separation but you want to talk to this person or this person well, i believe you want to talk to this person and get some things straightened out having to do with the marriage or a very marriage-like commitment whatever that is and i feel like some of you guys could be in separation but look at this i want to have a heart to heart conversation but i my 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 my, my voice might be telling me i don't know if i want to uh i don't know about you i don't know about this separation we also see make the effort. I see that Virgo, in some instances, you guys might be reluctant to make the decision about something having to do with a romantic partner. Pay attention to red flags, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. I see those conversations are going to be had. It falls right underneath heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Give me more. Tell me more. Let your friends help you. Like I said before, I don't think you guys are very verbal about this at all. I feel like if you guys are struggling in the area of love, I don't think you guys are telling your friends. 
or your family or whatever. But there's something that you guys might be watching out for. And these cards do say there's an element of mystery. All right. Now I'm going to actually look at this. It's time for you to come out of your comfort zone. This person that you're dealing with, and this could be your comfort zone, Virgo, even talking to this person here too, right? So, uh, yeah, this person has some mystery because they're keeping secrets because there's something that they're dealing with inside. So they're not going to, they're not, if that's what you think this person is hiding from you, it's about something that they're hiding. It is under separation, but I feel like there are some internal issues here. We do have re reverse finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. All right, so I see that. Separation because of finances. It could be something having to do with, um, I don't know. I feel like this is definitely what engagement. Why is this coming up? Pay attention to red flags. Let your friends help you finance. So I don't know if I want to marry this person. I feel like some of you guys, I feel like some of you guys were in a heavy, heavy relationship, if not a marriage. I feel like this is a relationship because we have, we have the marriage card, which is reversed. So to me, it's like, that's somebody I was going to marry or I have some problems, but then we have separation, right? So still that could suggest you guys are not married yet, but then we have engagement. So when I look at these cards, I'm thinking to myself, you guys we're probably in a heavy relationship with somebody that you were going to get married to. I feel like a breakup could have happened. It could have had to do with dishonesty, finances, and career, right? Because I see Virgos really, you know, in their place doing their thing. But then we have the engagement card, finances, and career. Like, I don't know if I want to propose to this person. I don't know if I, I don't know if I want to go from engagement to marriage with this person. But engagement does come out upright. So that might be one of the things you get into, like engage to somebody or something like that. All right, let's see what else we have. So whatever that's about with this person. Um, let me see what cards I want to pull. What cards do I want to pull? Because I really don't want to make this at all, you know, romantic and all that crap. I'm not really. Let's see what else we have here for you. Let's find some other cards. All right, let's pull these. We'll take a look at. Oh, you know what I do want to do? Because these are individuals, I want to see what. I want to see what's going on with this person you separated from. A message from, I'm going to say this is a nine of cups. I'm sorry. Tell, ooh, tell me what this person is thinking about Virgo. I'm going to pull these guys. Tell me what Virgo is thinking about their person. I'm sorry. What is their person? What does their person, what does Virgo's person have to say to them? What messages do you have for Virgo? What messages do you have for Virgo, this person that they're separated from? I do wish you well. They're bitter. <laughs> Came out reverse. I don't know. They. Do, I do wish you well. I don't. I don't think they're sure about how they. I lied to you. So there's some things that this person is not admitting. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for an apology. They're waiting for you to apologize. Give me one more. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. So I'm just saying, like, if you wish me well, but it's reversed, right? And then. You're like, I lied to you, but you're not admitting it. I'm waiting for an apology. This is from this person, right? But then they're sorry. So I don't know how... I feel like this type of personality or energy here is somebody who likes, likes to play with your mind, tell you stuff. Oh, yeah, trying... You know, like, my best example for that, I'm going to say, is just somebody who continues to piss on you and tell you it's raining that's basically I, that's i mean i'm sure i could have come up with something better but i chose not to because that's the extent of this person's gonna walk down the street naked and look at you like what you looking at like that somebody that's very nervy mm. nerve then you gotta come back and say i'm sorry what you sorry for if all of that is so huh all right let's take a look and see what other cards we have let's take a look and see what other cards we have for Virgo. Now, I don't know what that's about. That doesn't necessarily have to, I don't, I don't know, it looks like love to me, but your person is not admitting some stuff, and they're waiting for you to apologize. So I'm not saying you didn't do anything, but I'm telling you their side of the story. Uh, and I'm also telling you this person is very charming, this person, so they probably got a lot of way, they probably got away with this stuff. Property. A property purchase or sale for many but heed security concerns in any transactions. You guys want to be really careful with the stuff that you 
uh, sign, make sure it's on an up and up. Some of you guys could be buying property. Some of you guys could be selling property. Some of you guys could be selling a ton of things. That includes stocks, bonds, crypto. Ooh, did I say that? Yep, for property. Some of you guys are selling. Okay. So pay attention to the paperwork. Ooh, let's see what else we have. Okay. All right. Okay. Sunshine. The sun is shining on you. Career and business growth. Fabulous communication and relationships. I feel like you're definitely going to communicate more because you want to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. There's some sunshine here. We definitely see some success in your career. I also talked about this being about business too, guys, so I do see that. It's career, businesses, and also relationships where you're going to do a better job at expressing yourself, saying what it is you have to say, and it's going to be illuminated because... I feel like it's just time for that to happen for you guys for some reason. It seems like there's some opening up where you're not going to just let... I'm not saying that you guys let stuff slide. I'm not saying that, but... I feel like there are some things that you just don't care to address. Like, it's, it's important, but it's really not. Like, I got some other stuff going on. I'm trying to win right now. You and all your drama. Communication. <laughs> okay, it's reversed, but... A reunion could bring love or a rekindling of friendships. Friendships. A lucky win seems likely. Some of you guys are going to reach out to your friends and have the, that communication. So maybe you can get a, maybe you can talk to them a little bit about what's been going on and what you haven't told them. Or maybe you can share, which I, I, I'm real skeptical about sharing, you know, what partners say and all that. Because I'm a firm believer that, you know, and I say this, I've said this several times. I just feel like when you go and uh, tell all you feel about your significant other to folks, you know, and then you turn around and get back together. They're looking at you sideways and they're left not liking your partner. So I feel like until you are absolutely sure that you want to break up or let the relationship go, I would, you know, I would pray about it before I run off and tell this one and that one. All right. Okay. So let me see what other cards we have for you. Ooh. Sorry, guys. Oh, I, I, I'm just being real with you. I'm sorry. Sorry. My phone is ringing. Hold up. All right, give me a couple of cards for Virgo, please. Give me a couple of cards for Virgo. You are inclined to make people happy. Something that you do makes folks happy, guys. You will overcome your domestic troubles. Oh, boy. You, you might be having some domestic troubles at the moment, which are um, there. I see that. Uh, let's see. Regardless of opposition, you will be successful. Absolutely. So no matter what gets in your way, especially in this scenario, you're going to continue to be successful. But you don't want to be mad at yourself when other things like, you know, I don't know, whatever else can make you successful or um, help you out financially, whatever. Take advantage of all those things. Hmm, let's see. You overcome domestic trouble. You're inclined to make people happy. Let's see. Love and happiness in store for you more so in the future. So some of you guys are going to find a ton of happiness in the future. And I think it's going to be that, that balanced happiness. You're going to have what you need to have to get by. Okay, or live however you want to live, you'll be able to. Whatever makes you happy. Everybody's happiness is not the same. But you'll get there. You know, you'll be you'll find your complete happiness because I think that you can tempt. I don't necessarily think that you will you don't want years to go by and you just sat there and you know, this is how I design of I don't want to use that. This is how I design shirts. Right? And you've been using the same design for like 20 years. And now all these other companies have enhanced your design. You want to stay ahead of the game, be innovative. Let's see what else we have. Domestic, regardless of opposition. Let me make sure I got everything for you. Love and happiness in store. You are inclined. Yep. Okay, so let's just take a look at this one really quick. If you guys have a question, the answer is yes. The number is 154, also 25. Okay, let me just pull one more. What else do we have? You're going to have a very short sorrow. And that's probably what this is. And that's probably because you have enough money to make yourself smile. I guess you can buy yourself flowers. I don't know. Whatever. All right. But it's going to be short. This uh, this sorrow that you have. This sorrow roll. Okay. Anyway. You have been long loved by one whom you least suspect. Somebody's in love with you, Virgo. And you don't even know it. Mm -mm -mm. Every time they see you. Heart beats. Boom, 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 boom. Mm. So somebody's in love with you. Some of you guys could be experiencing some sort of a family grief, right? There could be a situation in the family, not about anybody in particular. It just could be a situation, right? 
okay? It could be anything, like, I don't know, a real sad one, like, I don't know, I don't know, maybe the last cup broke, <laughs> I don't know, whatever. Anyway, let's see what else we have, short sorrow, oh, oh, a marriage will take place soon. Now, that could explain why the engagement card came out upright. Some of you guys might be questioning whether or not you want to commit to somebody with the marriage card reversed, like I was saying earlier. And a family grief, a short sorrow, a marriage. Okay, let's take a look at this. And you get another yes, number 17, and also number 732. All right. Guys, I'm going to leave it there. That's all I have for you. I want to thank you so much for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Please. And guys, I'm being so serious, man. Take heed to everything that you see. Eyes open, prayers up. Just saying. All right. I'll see you guys later. I love you. Bye.